Abu Jamie rolling. Three, two, one, we're back. Another episode and we spare no expense. We go to all the best locations because we are doing the episode you have been calling out for, demanding from us. No CGI jiggery pokery. We are actually live on location. <laughs> well, we're not live, but we're on location. Okay? And this is the episode yes. of all episodes. Best celebrity tan. Tanza. Tanza. <laughs> Best celebrity tans. Yes, yes. His second home, right? My first home, actually. Because, because he is the foremost expert on all things tanning. And let it be said that you know all sorts of tan, whether they be solar, electric, spray. Windmill powered, mousse, uh, tanning water now, big, big. The pills? The pills. I don't know about any of these The things. beds, the booths. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. All of those things. Now, listen. We want to... A sun angel. We want you to weigh in with your expert knowledge. I want the top five best celebrity tans out there. First of all... Alive or dead. First of all, you didn't let me provide a perfect segue. This is a matter not just close to my heart, but close to my skin, which is more important, by the way. Okay. You Hopefully like that? that is the last tanning pun we're going to have today. Okay. Thank you, Abu Jamie, for distracting your us. Life, that was by very the way. good. <laughs> and let me just preface what I'm about to say by just referencing the fact that as we move towards uh, perilous, um, uncertain times economically, there are iconoclasts out there fighting the tanarchy, right? Celebrities like Nicole Kidman. I said, please, no more tanning puns. Excuse me, <laughs> Kate Blanchett and Keanu Reeves, who have championed... What have they going, ever done? ...going pale and pasty. Okay, and they've done very well, and I salute them on their stardom, but I am a tanologist. Okay. Can you figure out what that is? A man oh, yes. who studies tan. Okay, fine. And by the Can way, we, no, and I examine enough, 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 enough. All right, okay. Panorexic. Panorexic. Okay, top five. In a number five, who's your celebrity tan? Top er. five, forgotten, overlooked 80s legend, Tom Berenger, a.k.a. Big Wrench. Tom Berenger. Never before has he been called Big Wrench. Why Tom Berenger? First of all, Tom Berenger, okay, the star of great films in the 80s, like his should have been Oscar turn in Platoon. Okay, right? we're here to talk tans, not movies. And in particular, Major League 1 and 2, where he played first baseman Jake Taylor, he sported what I consider to be one of the most aggressively subtle, but powerful, under the radar, but very, very cosmetically fine and glowing tan. Can we? Okay, okay. Okay, that was nicely blended. I think topped up with definitely some Hawaiian tropic oil. Okay. Fine. Um, really, really nice sense of bronzage. I like it. Okay. What would you call it? I would call it the I would call it the fruit leather glaze. The fruit leather I glaze. Did. The yes. fruit oh that's a bit hard to say. Fruit leather glaze, why? Yes. Because Where does the fruit come in? Well first of all I, I I'm convinced I'm convinced that among the products he was taking, they were rich in um, apricot uh, and pomegranate kernels. And extracts. And, and, and goji berry extract, ah. okay? Which brought out that kind of like vitamin D glow, right? Thank and, you, Jim. And, Thank and, you. And, and, and let me just say, it is a, I mean, just, just look at, just, I'm sure you'll provide some stills, okay? Yes. Of Tom Berenger, okay? But he has that kind of leathery uh, kind of complexion yes. as well. Right, and it's a glaze, right? So it's a fruit leather glaze. Very good. And Very I don't good. want any any uh, fraudulent copywriters stealing my uh, my my material here. I don't. I doubt they will. Number five. Now let's move on to number four. Okay, number four. I'm putting him in there for clickbait, right? It's an obvious one. Tell which us. Is David Beckham. David Beckham. Now listen, David Beckham, not really known as a tannist. Abu Jamie tannist. Definitely a tannist. Not really. Not really, he says. He's a tanorexic to the max. Okay, let's talk okay. about his tan then. Okay. What would you call it? I would call it the Havana Heaven. The Havana Heaven. Yeah. Quite apt since he lives in Miami and can probably shop, you know, hop over very quickly. Oh, yeah, on the cigarette boats. On those go fast boats. On those indeed. go fast boats. <laughs> okay, so uh, why that? Okay. Yes, tell because, us. Because I think Havana is one of the more obscure, um, forgotten, um, not celebrated enough. Caribbean islands. Very good. Under communist rule since 1959. Okay, great. Probably one of the reasons why. Now, can, right? I, can I? So can it's not an. It's not an obvious. It's not a Saint Tropez. It's not right. a Bahamian. I see what you've done there. A Barbadian. I've seen. Uh, I, okay. a, 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 May I ask a, you this? A Panamanian okay, tan. Great. It's a Havana okay. tan. You love the lists. May I ask you this? I like the list, yes. 
at which point in David Beckham's, you know, kind of career, was his tan at its ah. peak? Which Beckham era Good. was he peak tanning? Good question. Good question. Thank You're you. catching me Thank off you. guard. Thank I would you. have to say Real Madrid unveiling press conference 2003. Three. Very good, very like, good. Rocking, I remember it. Rocking the dyed double ponytail, the samurai tail, the plundering uh, ponytail, uh, the, 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 the white shirt, and the baby blue suit, right? Yes. Um, yes. And and the tan yes. was outstanding. Now, by That's the way, why you're the expert. That's you know why what? He's the expert, no, just, Jamie. Do you want me to do a? Do you want to do a? Do a please, please, tanning? please, please. You know what? I just love tanning. You know, I just love red wine and a bit of tanning. You know, I just love Madrid and the fans. You know, and I just love, I just love <laughs> Miami. You know, and I just love, you know, I just love red wine. And <laughs> Qatar. You know, it's just like Qatar. You know, the human rights. David, is David, David, See, David. The tanning, yeah. Without a doubt. Without a doubt, yeah, tanning. Havana heaven, number Havana four. Heaven, Let's okay. move on to number three. Okay. What you got for me? Number three. Better be good. Well, I don't know. I uh, oh yeah 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 yeah. I thought long and hard about this. I'm by sure the way. you did. All right. The OG in at number three. Yes. Now, I would have placed him higher, but for the fact that he hasn't been on celluloid in a long time. Tell us. And contemporary audiences might not know who he is. George Hamilton. Of course. Of course. Listen. How is he not number one? Because George Hamilton is like the creator of the deep yeah, tan. I know. He's the originator. I know. He's the like genuine article. I don't think and enough. He's number of, three. I don't think enough of his fans are watching our uh, broadcasts. Okay, listen, you George know. Hamilton, an actor from which period did you say? 60s, 70s. And he's like had that tan since birth, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So maybe it's just natural. Yeah. What's the combination? What's the t- secret? How deep does it go? I'm going for a little bit of uh, onomatopoeia here. Go on. You know the. Uh, the no, 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 trip- no, no. Alliteration. Oh yes, go on. Poor form by me. Tell me the, what the it is. The Mediterranean mahogany mist. Okay. Or 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 let me just say the Mediterranean mahogany melt. Very good. Actually, the melt is better. Beautiful. Right. Beautiful. I like, like that. Yeah. I like the that. Triple M. And that's because it's deep, right? It's so deep. It's crisp. It's rich. Bit oily. Oh, th- that makes it even better. Fine. Okay, fine. it's shimmering and simmering. Fine. Liberace actually, I think, took notes okay, from him. Fine. Many okay, many people did. I'm I mean, sure many people and did. And he is, I think, the I think he's the tanning icon of all time, right? But he's the number three. So he's who's number your number, who's your number two? Number two, and I know you think this guy was going to be at number one, but unfortunately, well, I've got to knock that's him down. That's what we rehearsed. Well, you know what I'm going to say. Actually. Oh, go on. Okay. Well, you said you know. Mr. 45, maybe Mr. 47, Donald No, don't say J. it. He's got to be number one, man. No, 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 no. I've brought in a surprise for you for number one. I'm throwing the boom on number one. All right. Donald Trump in a number two. I disagree. I disagree. But let's talk about the Trump tan. Okay. What would you call it? I call it the Dorito dust or the what? Dorito dusting. Okay. Sometimes known as the baked salmon because, not, you know, it's not, not, not a bit, the, bit not, pink. Not the tango tan? Well, I think the tango tan is too common. What about the Kentucky more... Fried tan? No, no, he's definitely not a Kentucky Fried tan. <laughs> okay, fine. I think you know. And by the way, I did extensive research on this. Yes. And ex White House spokespersons have said there are no tanning beds or booths in the White House, See, which Jamie, means that's why he's the expert. Which means that he is not uh, what you call it uh, getting or topping up his tan. In the White House, he's using self tanner. Right, so he's doing Experts himself. Experts have said this. And he's by doing the way, it looks like that because you see he's got go. the white there ears, he's got the white lines, right? And I think, by there's the way, there's a lack of blending. There's a lack of blending. Mm-hmm. That's why sometimes it looks like Dorito dust, right? When it's at its best. Right. Okay? Right. Um, and um, some people. Eye. And you know, by the way, the, 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 the Dorito dust, also known as the uh, freckle theory, <laughs> okay. you know, because it's got the sprinkles, right? But sometimes when he's a bit pink, it's the baked salmon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you like that? He probably uses the same combination for his hair. I don't know about that, but probably. Yes, okay, you're right. Fine. A Wheatus man, actually, for his hair. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't so think there are hair dye salons in the White House I'm either. I'm excited to know your number one. If he's number two, who is your number one? Who tops the list? Okay. Number one is straight from left field and right field and the outfield. Okay. <laughs> British presenting icon legend. Yes, and I, I don't know. mean I don't mean Des O'Connor. Well, great tan though. Great tan. Great tan. AKA Des O'Tanner. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mr. David Dickinson, who should be knighted. Applause. If he isn't already. Applause. If he isn't already, David, David Dickinson. Dickinson. You're right. Okay. Now listen. Let okay. me just give him a quick go. Give, give them a David biography. Dickinson, 
British daytime TV presenter, does a lot of auction shows, things like that, wears weird suits, his catchphrase, cheap as chips. Great but catchphrase. Great mullets. Great, great mullets. mullets. Yeah, yeah. And I'm exceptionally, exceptionally deep brown, tan, what do you name it? I have named it. Okay. Hey, I'm trying to do a show here. Go ahead. New balls, please. <laughs> Go ahead. I on. have named it the Samsonite pudding. <laughs> The Can you deconstruct why I've well, called it the listen, Samsonite I pudding? Mean, I may be reaching here, but I'm presuming you're referring to those old 1970s leather-bound brown Samsonite suitcases. Well done. Which probably don't even exist anymore. I'm not in that market, yet, but, but yet, yet, yet. Iconic. I like what you've done there. And the pudding parts? Well, you know, it's like, you know, it's pudding. It's like stuffed and, you know, like, you know, all-encompassing. And I just like the word pudding. I think it's a fun word to say. The Samsonite pudding. Very good, very good. And David Dickinson, you should be bloody knighted if you aren't already for your tan. Mr. Dickinson, we salute you. Okay. We the true tanorexic. He is, he is. Right? He is. PhD worthy, Juris Doctor. With that being said, I want you to keep your end up. Oh. I believe you got an appointment. Thank you. Pondering ponytail. Thank you. Yes, Abu Jamie, you Stay got something to up. say? A quick question. Please. Yes, please. Uh, it's watch related. So, the, the King Tanner, what watch would he wear? Oh, give me a break. Get to your tanning salon. We'll see you later. We're out. Bloody Abu Jamie, you're fired. <laughs>